So welcome back to the video guys. So we're finally back at Trent View. So I've just got my winter ticket, first session the winter ticket. So it is today, it's Thursday the 3rd of November. Uh, I'm booked on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I've come down early again. So I'm down here Thursday afternoon, it's three o'clock. I've got some rods out. I didn't do an intro at the gates or anything like that because I came straight in pretty much. Seen the bailiff at the gate, straight in, dipped my nets, come round. I hit quite busy. The November the 3rd, I thought it was going to be a lot quieter. Um, I wanted to be on pegs 20 ish there, there are the right routes, but they were all filled, so I've come round and I'm in peg 45, my usual. Because 45, 46, there's another ladder. I met last time, he's here, two days, and he's on 46. So I jumped 45, there was 41 free, um, 42, and I think there was one other on the other side. So yeah, I'll uh, flip the camera around so you can see. So there's the view we've got. Currently at the minute. So now we can use a maggot. So with it being November, I've got some casters. And I've got some red maggots and I've also got a tub of worms. So I'm using my solid bags on just two rods at the minute. I've only got two rods out. So one on the left solid bag. Uh, the right hand rod at the minute is right out, 20 wraps on a solid bag. But I'm going to bring that in because I found the spot just over 15 wraps. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put out a little PVA, a little worm, a couple of worms I think, on top of a wafer. Probably four or five worms strung down on it. And we're going to see how we go. But one thing, I knew I'd forgot something. I forgot my bivy table. So let me just show you. So yeah, so the usual setup minus bivy table. So that's got to be a bit, but as long as it's just that that I forgot. Yeah, rods are out. I've even bought another net just in case it goes off. Because the weather looks nice for it so so yeah less of my waffling uh, i'll give you an update in a bit but yeah really all set up now Got the old maggots down there casters four quid for a pint of casters now and it was like five quid for mixed worms um I had to buy the tub as well so that was six quid for the maggots and that so right red for the naturals but yeah i'm open we can have some. See her. Uh, I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit. Want to get some food on in a bit, or uh, have an update, a little catch up, a little chat. But yeah, I'll uh, speak to you in a bit. Right, welcome back, guys. It's morning now, Friday morning now, fourth of November. So um, yeah, uneventful night to be fair. I had a, what sounded like a trailer on my middle rod at uh, eight o'clock, because then about thirty seconds, well, about a minute later. Ollie next to me in 47, 46, he um, had a liner as well, or seemed like a liner. Uh, but yeah, he's just had one actually, he's just had a uh, lovely little 15 pound common from Solid Bag out about 15 rack mark where we've got some rods. So I've just took some pictures for him, so well done to Ollie for that. But yeah, it's um, breakfast time now, so I'm going to get some breakfast on, cup of tea on. Uh, I've just put back out, I put a zig out. Um, adjustable zig I've shown you before you've seen what I've used before adjustable zig and um, sort of match the hatch pop up but I put uh, five red maggots on the top that's currently three foot under the surface and then I've got a solid bag out and a multi rig out and we'll see how we go tried a worm rig last night nothing so I'll probably try one again tonight um, but yeah I'll flip the camera around just so you can see my view in so that's my view this morning just, just uh, getting a cup of tea on. It's half nine now. So uh, the fish were boshing out all in front of us last night. Someone, when I spoke to Wally, who come round this morning, um, one guy over there had one early this morning on the other bank, but that's all we've seen. And then Ollie's just had that one at fit about 15 and a half pound common. Lovely little fish that was. So there's hope, the fish were out in front of us last night, so there's hope. 
because I was contemplating on moving, but the only swim that's free, really, is 18. But the problem is, if someone jumps in 19, or I think someone is in 19, you um, can't get out to the fish because you're penned in. So that's the only reason I didn't jump in it yesterday. So 45 in this area gives me a bit of everything. So yeah, I'm hoping we uh, have one, but when I bring all my rigs in later and I redo them, because I'm not going to bring them back in now until after dinner, and I'll probably leave them out of I'll probably leave two of them out of the water for a couple of hours. But when I redo all my rigs later, my bait, get the bushwhacker out, I'll show you what I'm using again. Same as what I always use, but I'll show you what I'm using. Or, hopefully, we get rudely uh, disturbed by a nice fat carp on the bank. But yeah, I'll speak to you all in a bit. So we're just cooking up some bacon. So we're having bacon and brie. I'm going to have bacon and egg panini and bacon and brie panini. So I've got that cooking out there. All my goodies in here, spare bacon. I've got some from the butchers, beers. Oh, I've got loads of stuff in there. All I need now is a fish. So when I bring my rods in in a bit, I fed the robins to give me good luck. Just hope it gives me good luck. The wind's chopping in now. So yeah, zigs down at 10 foot depth. So yeah, I'll just get myself some breakfast on. It's 11 o'clock. Gonna give the rods another hour, hour and a half in the water, and then I'm probably gonna bring them out. And then we'll see what we're doing for this afternoon and this evening. But yeah, hopefully I'll get back to you with a fish, but if not, I'll speak to you later. So that's the rig I've chose. A little pop up with the top trimmed off and a couple of worms strapped down to it. And I'm gonna put that on my little multi rig, ship that out with a bushwhacker when I redo my rods in a bit. Let's hope. Let's attempt a bite. So there's what we've got guys, some maggots, combi rig there, with a trim down on, we've got some maggots, casters, and a bit of crumb, and that's going out, just there. Right, welcome back guys, it's Saturday morning, no updates in between because nothing's really happened, I had one single beep last night and that rip. Redone the rods this morning, same old, same old. Solid bags out to showing fish. I was going to move, because uh, Ollie's moved now at 46, and I was going to jump in peg 46, because he'd had a couple of them two small commons out, but fish were right out in front of me and him all night, so there's no point. We were boshing out in front, all the way up. There's just been a show about 20 minutes ago out front. It's so, like nine o'clock now in the morning. So yeah, two solid bags straight out in front. And then the uh, multi-rig on the left, over that caster and worm. So I ain't even redone that one since yesterday, I've left that from last night. So I think I'm gonna stay in this for another 24 hours, and then possibly, if one of the lads from over them, their side there leave tomorrow, I might jump over there for 24 hours, because I think they had a few fish last night. They've got the bait boat. And just pushing out with a bait boat and dropping. Now I ain't got a bait boat, but they've had a few fish and they're boshing a bit closer to them than they are to me. Still in the same vicinity, but... So, yeah, if they um, disappear, any of the lads from that side disappear, I might drop round there. But, yeah, I've just got a cup of tea on now. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to have a lay back in bed while it's raining and just relax, chill out. And I'll uh, update you later, hopefully I'm with a fish on the bank. So, mid-morning update. Um, I just had a fish bosh. Literally. Right, right there. Twice. So I just brought my left hand rod in, got the bushwhacker. Checked the rig, it was fine. Checked the hook, gave it a, just a re-clean up, re-sharpen. Put it back out. With the bushwhacker with some chopped worm. Handful of um, flake and some casters. And I've just dropped that rig back out, literally right there. It's about two foot of water, two and a half foot. I don't think the fish that's shown is a massive fish, but anything will do if we can have one. So it's looking proper carp, you know, and rain's coming in. Fish also is just boshed in the area out front as well, at like about there, um, where that sort of slick area is. So I've got a couple of solid bags out there. So I think I made the right decision to stay in port in this swim. This is where I've been seeing the fish. 
can't move over there because there's no swims free, so let's hope we uh, bag one. I've just come for a walk, pulled me rods in, rechecked all my spots out there and then thought I'm going to come around for a walk around the lake, go and try and uh, go for a number two but I can't. Anyway, walk around, the only other peg, pegs one in the shallows free, a couple more up to nine in ten free. But lads are moving out of them, they've had nothing. So I've walked around peg 18. Wind's blowing in, but there ain't no showing. So I think I'm just going to stay where I am. Because all that side, that's filled. This car's up around there, so might as well just stay where I am. Really put some bait out, but yeah, I'm going to walk back now. So it's Sunday morning guys, it's uh, half seven, I woke up at four, sat watching the water, hearing them bosh out in front, and then nodded off back to sleep for a couple of hours, and woke up about half six, I don't know whether to move, in the last 24 hours, the fish were boshing out in front again last night, early hours, but nothing, so I don't know whether or not if they move off that other bank to move over there or not. But yeah, I'm a bit, uh, a bit confused of where to move to because the fish are out in front. So, it's been a real hard, I still thought last session was an odd session, but this has been even harder. Absolutely blown my mind. Fish out in front, bait around, nothing. So yeah, I really don't know what to do. So, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Sit here for half an hour. See some people sniffing around already. There's a few vans moving around, a few cars moving around. So I'm going to see what happens over the next hour and decide whether I'm going to move on. I might even go for another walk around, bring me rods in. I don't normally do that, but I might bring them in, have a walk around, see what's happening. Because I really want to try and get one out. But yeah, I'll uh, update you in a bit once I've breakfast. The boat going out to the middle for the next swim. That's a good old chalk. I might whack another bag on now actually and swing one out. So I mean the bait boats are um, definitely a, uh, a tool. But I ain't got three grand for one. So it'll be me casting them out and blanking by the looks of it. Right. There's some morning fun. We're talking Sunday morning breakfast. Egg, bacon, onion, cheese, panina. Get in. That is the breakfast of champions, which is going to help us catch a fish. Hopefully. I'm going to bring the rods in after breakfast, get them all back out, and then see what the day brings. Right, well, I'm going to tuck in. So, evening, guys. It is Sunday evening. Absolutely nothing has happened through the day. I mean nothing. So there's only so many times you're gonna see me cooking my food and eating my food. Yeah, nothing's happened through the day. Put some zigs on. <coughs> nothing. I had an adjustable one and then a short one at two foot. Nothing. So I brought them back in at like the three o'clock time. It's gonna be a full moon on uh, we're on Sunday now. It'll be a full moon Tuesday. So like 95% to a full moon. So I put the bushwhacker out for the last lot of bit of bait with casters, baguettes, a little multi-rig, 
put that back out a little bit further as far as I could reach out to be fair about nine foot of water it is now I'm gonna put two solid bags out of range where they were shining through the night and in the morning and yeah let's uh, see what happens but other than that I it's uh, hope I get one but might well be another blank I knew these were coming in November be a long few months I think but yeah keep positive there's always chance of a fish when there's a in the water so yeah I'll see you in the morning unless the miracle of bloody hell is catching a fish happens in the morning guys welcome back unfortunately it's another blank it is uh, Monday morning now so about 10 to 9 now so I'll flip the camera around so you can see so there we go don't worry, I'm back in two days, or one day. I'm at work tomorrow and then I'm off for the rest of the week. So I've got my mate's funeral on Friday, so I'm coming fishing Wednesday, Thursday down here. Might see one of my other mates, Ad, if he's here. He says he's coming down tomorrow. So yeah, trust me, it's just the one day I've got work is the day of the full moon, but before and after, but yeah, nothing. Four nights, three days, not a stitch. A couple of beeps through the night, but nothing to like, get me excited. So yeah, another blank. It's November, I knew they were coming. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like, a comment in the video, and also a subscription won't go amiss. If you did enjoy, and I will catch you in two days on the next session down here. And we will be hopefully getting a peg over there. We'll probably take one of the pegs over there this time. But yeah, catch you in a couple of days, guys.